Oh, I am so excited to say I have got a surprise today. I'm gonna go visit the first grade at Preston Hollow Elementary. It's gonna be so much fun for me and hopefully them too. Yeah. Yep. Hi. Pretty good. Hi. Hi. So, what kind of presentation are you doing? Uh, about growing plants in space. How not really? <laughs> How about space? Yeah. How cool. So I got this big uh, growth chamber with like an LED lights, and we're setting up a whole thing. Yeah. So. Uh, How cool is that? Yeah. So, uh, why don't you sign in there on your visitors for us? Cool. And we'll get you going. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Thank you so much for listening to me. Three and two girls. Whoopsie, B. your plant die? Why do you think it did? You didn't have enough water. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna write on the board all the things that a plant needs to live. All right. So you said water, right? Yeah. All right. What's one that plant needs? Plant needs sun. Plant needs sun. Okay. So we're gonna say that's light. It needs light. Yeah, so it needs a uh, soil. All right, there's one more left. I know, I I know. Yeah, no. hey, well done. No. Yeah. No. yeah. So you, if you were gonna grow a plant, let's say on the moon or on Mars, uh, we're listening. Do you think we'd have all these things to do that? No. No, of course not. That's silly. Uh, so on your table, you see there's two little uh, buckets. Yeah. One is dirt, and one is rocks that you might find on Mars. I know there's Whoa. Mars rocks here. The dark soil, that's something that a plant would really like to grow in. It's usually a nice dark soil makes plants really happy because it has lots of food in it, which the plants eat. It has a lot of plant nutrients. Do you think the rocks would be good for a plant to grow in? Of course not, yeah. And that's because they don't have the food. So, what would we do if we went to Mars? How would we grow a plant in that? Does anyone know? Okay. Yeah, okay, that's actually a really good idea. The problem, though, is soil is really heavy to carry. A spaceship is pretty tiny, so we have to find something that's really compact so we can grow uh, without carrying all that weight. So here we have a little plant. Let me move this over here. I'll hold it up for everyone to see. Okay, so usually when you have a plant in the garden, so you have a plant like this. Now you water the plant, and then what happens to the water? Um, it creates like a... 
it starts to drip out the bottom, right? Yeah. So if we brought a bunch of water up into space and we started watering our soil, so we had, you know, we brought our soil and we made our big garden on, on Mars, and then we started watering it, we'd have to bring a lot of water, right? Because we'd just lose all the water through the bottom. What if we could just grow the plants in the water? Then we wouldn't have to bring soil up. We wouldn't have to worry about the water running away. We could just grow plants in something like this. This plant is growing pretty similar. So there's roots growing all through here, but this is really heavy and you have to bring all that soil into space. With this, you can grow the plant just in water. Do you see how the roots are growing just in the, in the water? So does anyone know the name of growing plants like that? It's called hydroponics. Hydroponics. Can you say that word? Hydroponics. Hydroponics. Yeah, and you gotta do the dance with it. It goes hydroponics. Ponics. Hydroponics. Let's go over. If we were to grow plants in water like that, and we maybe added a little bit of food to the water, then all we'd have to do is bring a little bit of water, right? And possibly a little bit of plant food. This is plant food that you can put in water. And then we'd have our water, we'd have our soil or our food. Do anyone know what plants breathe in? Let's, let's make a little picture. Air, oxygen. No. Leaves. Leaves. So the leaves do. Carbon dioxide. Whoa, who said that? Gavin. Gavin. <laughs> Gavin, you could get a gold star for that one if I had gold stars. All right, so let's see. the. Plant breathes in carbon dioxide. Does anyone know what that is? No. Yeah. I know oxygen. I know. So it's like oxygen. Now, we breathe in oxygen. Plants make oxygen that we breathe in, and then we make CO2, which plants breathe in. So I have a little toy over here. Toy? So this is a little carbon dioxide meter. Whoops, this is called a CO2 meter. So when we exhale, this will start to go higher. And this is measuring how much CO2 I'm breathing out. And the higher the number, the happier the plants are, but it's a higher number isn't as good for us because we don't want a lot of CO2 in our air. So if we went into space and we were in a tiny little bubble, We'd want a lot of plants because the plants will eat what we exhale, and then the plants will make fresh oxygen for us to breathe in. Does that make sense? Yes. No. Okay. <laughs> it almost makes sense. <laughs> yeah. So that's our air. So we have the air. Now there's one more thing left on that list to check off, right? So let's say we bring a bunch of seeds. Okay, so that's an easy one because seeds are pretty small, right? So we can bring a bunch of seeds. So what are we going to do about light? What if we go really far out into space and we aren't close to the sun? Is there a way we can make sunlight in the back? Yeah, yeah, so we could, use, we could pretty much use a flashlight. So does anyone think these lights could grow a plant? Maybe, if you had a plant really, really close to it. But the problem is the light has to be really strong. So it has to be a really, really bright light for plants to grow. Really bright. Yes. It. Yeah, it's not bright enough. So I'm going to show you guys a way that we could grow plants in space. And this is going to be a really bright light. Whoa. So that's a bright light. So that light's bright enough to grow a plant in. All right, so what's the mission over the next couple weeks? <laughs> grow a plant. Yeah, you're going to grow a plant. We're going to grow a bunch of salads in here. Huh? <laughs> Guacamole! Ground control to kid astronauts. Wow, those have grown a lot. Those are probably like double the size at least. Yay.